Hi everyone, welcome back to Codefist YouTube channel. I am very excited to share this tutorial with you guys where you will learn how to use Apple sign in in iOS. Let's quick introduction about Apple sign in. In iOS 13 at WWDC 2019, Apple introduced a fast, easy way to sign in into your application and websites. And the name is Sign in with Apple. Sign in with Apple allow you to set up a user account into your application with name and verified email address and unique stable identifier that allow the user to sign in to your application with Apple ID. Sign in with Apple works on iOS, macOS, tvOS and watchOS. You can also add sign in with Apple to your website or version of your application running on other platform. Once a user set up their account, you can sign in anywhere you can deploy your application. So let's create a project in Xcode. So let's open Xcode, create a new project and the name is sign in with Apple. So first of all, you, you need to add a capability, sign in with Apple, you can double click on this, we can go into our view controller. So first we need to import authentication service, now we need to set sign in with apple button unfortunately there is no storyboard xiv option to add this button we have to add it programmatically into our view controller so now we need to create it so firstly we create a function for this setup apple sign in button and this function we will call from view did load setup sign in button let's create a button let sign in button equal to authorization id button now button is created now we need to set the x axis as well as y axis with height or with height and width sign in with apple we need to set a frame now x axis we take 20 and uh, y axis y screen dot main dot bound dot size dot height around uh, I think minus 170 is good for this and also we can take width so full screen dot main dot bound size dot width and i think it's for around 40 is good and height you can take around 40 50 whatever you want but i take 50 now we need to add this button into your home screen so self dot view add sub view and the view is sign in button let's build and you can run this application into a simulator or iphone now we have a simulator so you can open now you can see the sign in apple button 
now we need to add action on this button press so we need to create sign in button dot add target and target value is self and selector and the function name we will create this function soon sign in action button and inside touch inside now we need to create a function because of selector we use ob objc function sign in action button now print apple apple sign in now build and then we can run and uh, you can see when we click on this button the action is there and print apple sign in now we can create apple id provider authorization service and now we need to create request apple dot id provider dot create request now for create request we need to add a scope so a scope equals to now dot email and full name now let's create authorization controller and AS authorization controller and send request with the scopes which we have created earlier now authorization controller dot delegate set delegate for this controller authorization controller dot present contact provider and authorization controller perform request so we need to set this protocol so extension view controller and set this delegate method and second one extension view controller and set this so we can go into this definition so now here is the open function here we can copy it and paste inside this now return value of this view dot window now inside authorization controller delegate here are did error did compilation with error and second one is did authorization completion did completion with authorization so in the error we need we will create a uh, alert so it shows error so now title is error means and message is sorry error dot sorry, error dot localization and the style is alert I know you know you all know very well how to put an alert action so add alert action UI alert action and title ok style dot cancel and handler name now present alert and animated true compilation nil yeah it's done you can see what we have done in this code if you can click on this button then cancel then you can see the error message and this is the code which we have written here
now did completion with authorization now we need to take a switch authorization dot credential here you can get the value of authorization as a credential and let credential as authorization as authorization apple id credential print now we can print credential dot user here you can get apple id for particular device and here you can get credential dot full name full name means your first name or last name as well and family name is your first name and print credential dot full name dot given name given name is your first name and family name is your last name and second case for that let case credential as au pass uh, as password credential let now 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 we can print credential dot password here you can see the by default default case in default case that mean such kind of error will occur in case so here the apple sign in and the message it will show something went wrong with your apple sign in yeah it's done for now now we can build this project and run here are two options with email or without email now you can enter your password and continue and you can see the output field in first line user id first name last name and your email id now we will display the name last name email and user id on our screen so now we need to create outlet for this label we need to add properly and we need to set a color like this increase the font size 25 medium create outlets IB outlet V email label UI label we need copy and paste it so we will and this is first name label last name label and email id so now we can connect ID email ID 
first name and last name so we can add some constraint like this now it's all done now we need to create a function now we need to create a function for this populate data data on a screen on a screen cell dot email id dot text equal to credential dot email cell dot first name level dot text equal to credential dot full name dot given name self dot last name dot text equal to credential dot full name dot given name self dot apple id dot text equals to credential dot user now we can build this project and run it again so right now you can see there is no apple id the all fields are blank so you can click so now you can see the apple id first name last name and email id so it is very simple so now you can see it is very simple for this and the only 70 to 80 lines of code here so it is very interesting so if you want to build out this project make sure you hit the subscribe button like and share as well thank you so much